What's up everybody? Welcome to Rhythm Riddles. My name is August and today I want to talk about 21 and one third notes. What are they? Where do they come from? And how can you utilize them in your playing? Now I'm going to come at this idea from the perspective of a drummer. But just like any other rhythm, 16th notes, 8th notes, or quarter notes, any instrument can use 21 and one third notes, not just the drums. So what are they? On the surface, 21 and one third notes sounds like a pretty pretentious and obscure idea, but really it comes from something really simple. I think the best way to clearly communicate this idea is to go through a step-by-step -step process on how I found 21 and one third notes. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 4-4 backbeat groove with a fill of 16th notes starting on beat two, going through the end of the bar. So that's gonna be three counts of 16th notes. It's gonna sound like this. Now what we're going to do is move the pulse from the beginning of each beat of 16th notes to every three 16th notes. You'll notice that the pulse and the snare drum and the quarter notes and the hi-hat are now going to be offset. This is called a three against four polyrhythm, and this idea is fundamental to understanding 21 and one third notes. Let's give it a listen. Now what we're going to do is isolate that fill those three beats of 16th notes. You'll notice that those resemble a bar of 4-4 four, four split into eighth note triplets. In both cases, we have 12 notes, and in both cases, they're split into four notes of three. So if we forget about our hi-hat pulse for a moment, that was playing quarter notes, we're left with this bar of 12 notes, or three counts of 12 notes, that sounds just like triplets. Okay, we're getting really close to playing 21 and 1 third notes. Now what we need to do is take our bar of 4-4 four, four, that used to be our fill, now there's no hi-hat, and change those triplets for what are going to be 16th notes. In other words, the pulse is going to stay the same, but now we're going to be filling those spaces with 4 notes and not 3. So instead of this, we're going to have this. Okay, now we have our bar of 4-4 four, four split into 16th notes, where triplets used to be. Now it's going to get a little weird. We're going to bring in our old hi-hat pulse. To make this a little clearer, I'm going to play the old fill and then the new fill with 21 and 1 third notes. You'll notice in the old fill we have groups of 3 16th notes. Now all we're doing with the 21 and 1 third notes is taking those what used to be 16th notes and filling where there used to be 3 with 4 even beats. So here's the old fill. Now let's hear it with the 21 and 1 third notes. So it's kind of a weird sound. Let's listen to it again. Old fill. New fill. Notice that the pulse remains the same. There's now just four beats per pulse, not three. Now let's push this idea a little further. If you can fill that space with three notes, if you can fill it with four notes, why not fill it with five? Let's see what that sounds like. So when you split those pulses into five, those are called 26 and two-thirds notes. Now where are these weird names coming from? 21 and one-third, 26 and two-thirds? Well just like 16th notes and eighth notes, we're describing them by how many of them fit into a bar of 4-4. Four, four. So if there are 16, 21 and one-third notes in a bar of 3-4, we divide it by 3, multiply by 4, that gets us to 21 and one-third. Same thing with fives. There are 20 of them in a bar of 3-4. Divide by 3 and multiply by 4, that gets us 26 and 2 thirds. Now, there must be a more elegant name for these out there. If you have an idea, please send them to me. It just happens that 21 and 1 third, 26 and 2 thirds, they just describe it precisely. But I'm all ears for other ideas.
If you want to come up with your own creative way to work these rhythms into a beat, rhythm, fill, or even melodic line, please do make a video, send it to me. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this rhythm riddle, please like, comment, or subscribe. You can find out more about me on my website, which is linked down below, or you can follow me on my Instagram, which is at August Pappas Music.